I had a lady tell me she didn't like wearing a mask because it fogged up her glasses and she couldn't breathe. I said, well, if you have a tube down your throat, you can't breathe either. 57-year-old Therian Clark knows firsthand. In early March, he and his wife, Marcy Miles Clark, tested positive for COVID. Her symptoms remained mild. I developed a fever um, that was persistent for a few days. My wife was giving me cough medicine to nurse it and it would break, but then I developed a very severe cough. That was followed by shortness of breath, insomnia, and aches and pains. Eventually, he ended up at Johns Hopkins Hospital. So they um, did a chest x-ray and based off of that x-ray, they said my lungs were failing and they had to intubate me immediately. Clark was on a ventilator for 28 days. And when I awoke, I awoke to a bunch of strangers. So I didn't know where I was, what was going on. And the scariest part was um, I was paralyzed. I couldn't move. Oh my God, it was one of the uh, hardest things I've ever had to deal with. Um, just not being able to be there and be a physical and emotional support for him when I knew he was fighting for his life. Um, but Hopkins did a phenomenal job with trying to connect us. In May, after 46 days in the hospital, Clark finally had an emotional homecoming with his care team, friends and family. He's still in physical therapy, has trouble with stamina, sleeping and taste, and has trouble moving his arm. How has this changed you? It's made me more um, awakened to what life is all about, what's more important, family, you know, because you could be on top of the world one day and you could be gone the next. And uh, I've become a huge advocate of um, what Dr. or what Governor Larry Hogan has said, you know, about wearing your damn mask, you know, and I would even add to that, stay home. And you made it, thank God. In Howard County, Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.